Hey everybody, it's Talos Concarne here, back with Tales of Fantasia, and we made it to Euclid. Uncle Olsen's house is in the northwest end of town. Alright, let's go find Uncle Euclid, er, Uncle Olsen, not Uncle Euclid. There's a juggler. And he's a juggler. <laughs> oh man. Alright, soldiers came to Olsen's house, that's no good. That's, uh, kind of intriguing, but that little thing, that little comment right there about the, uh, the big balls, you wouldn't find that in the GBA version. That's just some of the humor that you won't find. But, uh, let's go into Olsen's house, because there's not much to do here, so. Alright, Uncle Olsen. And he's bald. He's really bald. Looks like a cone head. Such a touching reunion. Uh huh. Alright, watch this. Aunt Joan. Her name is Aunt Joan, correct? No, not right now. No. Alright, now let's talk to Aunt Joan again, and her name turns out to be Aunt Joanne. Hmm. Well, well, well. What to make of that? Just a translation error, I suppose. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's go to talk to Uncle Olsen and take a rest, because we are so tired after our long walk. So, we're sleeping, and we're sleeping, and we're sleeping, and Uncle Olsen uh, comes into our room. Hmm. And he's just watching us, and four soldiers come in after him. That's awesome. Great, Uncle Olsen. He... He sold us out. He sold us out. That bastard. Bastard sold out his own nephew. Watch where you're aiming that spear, boy. You don't have to jab me. So the spears don't move, but their arms do. Hmm. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> yeah, sure you are. You sold us out. And Chester looks like he's finished burying everybody. That's nice. Alright. But where are they taking class? Looks to be like an evil castle of some sort. You can tell by the evil sounding music. It's kind of creepy. Who is this? Hmm. Apparently his name is, uh, question mark X6. Alright. He just took our pendant. He was after the pendant. Hmm. So I'm starting to believe that, uh, it was one of the pendants from the, uh, the intro. Oh! What is that in the mirror? That's pretty creepy. So, now, um, they're going to lock us up in a dingy dark cell with rusted doors. That doesn't sound good. Get up, class. There we go. Now what indeed? Alright, you should note that, uh, let's go to our equip menu. As you can see, we don't have a weapon. So, um, had you picked up the sword from your house earlier, uh, you would have not kept it. So, that's why I told you to wait to grab it. 
but um yeah we're stuck in the cell and there's water oh but somebody's calling us hmm where did that voice come from a woman's voice huh let's see did it come from the hole it did come from the hole yeah we're gonna stick our hand in a hole someone some strange woman is calling us so we're gonna telling us to stick our hand through a hole so we're gonna stick our hand through a hole we don't care what's on the other side we get an earring hmm all right all right we stick the earring on the wall or something and a door opens up so there we go is this the lady that was talking to us looks like she has a sword sticking out of her there's a sword sticking out of her let's get that sword yes alright so yes we can use the sword to escape but first you have to equip it so equip the long sword and let's go up to this door well if I can get centered open uh, centered on it and you pry the door open with your sword go through there and open this bag for our creamy cheese and it looks like there's a girl there maybe she's still alive we should go check all right pry the door open and she stands up yep she's still alive awesome Say hello to Mint, our second party member. Alright, no, we can't. From over there, there's a dead woman. Oh no. Mint's mom is dead. We can't show you that. Yeah, I lied to her, Kless. Alright. Oh well. Mint joins our party and we can continue on. You don't want to go to the left, uh, you won't be able to go anywhere. But um, go over here to a sewer entrance and pry it open with your longsword. And we are in the first. Uh, I guess you could call this a dungeon. Um, this is a little tutorial about how to use mint spells. It's really not that important, but we are in the sewers. Every game has, every RPG rather, has to have a sewer in order for it to be a good RPG. But uh, go through there, you get orange gummy and whatever that was, a life bottle or whatever. Anyway, still have the same enemies here. Not too much different, but we will have our first real boss um, afterward. I mean, just look at the backgrounds on this game. It's awesome. There are three layers, of course. There's one in the uh, in the very back, and there's one in the midground, and then there's the one that you're walking on. But it's pretty detailed. Mint learned her first skill which is pretty awesome first aid now she'll be able to heal us and we won't have to use a shit ton of uh, apple gummies to do it and this is our uh, save point you can save your game in a dungeon that's what makes this our dungeon so because you can save in it I'm just gonna save right there and it's saved so let's continue on you can also save on the overworld map, just so you know. We have a slime. Oh, and those fucking hurt. Let's use dual kick. There we go. Let's kill the leeches. Don't hurt me. Quit it. Come on. Don't jump. Low to the ground. Thank you. Alright. Moving on. Let's go get that chest down here. We have a wooden shield that can be equipped onto Kles, so let's do that now. Give us a little more uh, defense. Let's 
see how far we can get. I doubt we'll be able to get much farther because I'm running up on the time limit, so there's so many damn battles. Mint doesn't attack much, I should say that. Alright. Don't jump, class. Yeah. It'll be more like we're uh, protecting Mint rather than she fight, so she's just there to heal you. But, um, I want to go ahead and cut it right here with this chest. We get an apple gummy. So, um, I'm Childless Concarne, and next time we will get through the sewer and escape from the clutches of those mysterious knights. I'll see you later.